Thank you. Today we are creating a small project. Before we do that, let's see if we have a new version of our plugin uploaded. Open the package manager. Click on installed to see all your installed plugins. Click on Spherine Rhino. You'll see that there is an update. Install this one. Restart Rhino. After the restart, we can start working by creating a mesh object or importing a mesh from your CAD software or any other source. I create a mesh sphere at XYZ0 with a radius of 25. Let's turn on some shading so that we see better what we have. Let's proceed. Create a new project by clicking the new project button or entering SPHE underscore new project in the command line. I call it sphere. Now I'm asked to select the envelope mesh for the project sphere. That's this one. Click on it. It automatically generated a layer structure containing the project, the meshes. We have an envelope layer with an envelope inside, field layer density with a density field point. We can change the density field point by double clicking on it, entering a value, or you can select it and in the properties change the value here. These are simple Rhino text dots. Then next we compute Spherine. Here we have the computation settings, density reference thickness. That's a default wall thickness. If you want to keep it a constant, uh, we have it set on 0.4 millimeters if you work in millimeters. Here you can set the random seed. If you keep that number the same, it will always uh, reproduce the same Spherine. In the output section, we can compute a a single surface or a solid surface. For the solid surface we have a draft mode and a production mode that creates uh, better meshes for 3D printing. Each of these can have colors to show some attributes as overlay. To iterate fast, I will only work on the single surface until I have my density as I want it. Then I switch to solid surface when I tinker with wall thickness. In the computation info, I'm able to enter some values, names, part names, version numbers that will be reflected in the output layer. So I call this part my sphere for example call it version 1.1 and if i want i can also enter a comment here we have the computation time control where you can set a limit on how long it should calculate if it computes longer than 10 minutes for example you will get a message with the prediction that you have to set this number a bit higher let's start the computation this created an output layer we have just received the result from the cloud. Our single surface result. So we can now make a gradient that changes from this density 11 to another density. And this we can do by simply copy and pasting points. I, I lock the envelope layer, make it visible, hide the output layer to better see what I do. So let's say we have these points on the bottom here and I can group them together, enter the group command. Now they act as one object if I click on it. Now I copy this up here, double click the upper one up here. Now I can change this value to let's say 5.6, put a little bit in here. When we compute that, we will have a uh, gradient. We can continue to work. We can just select this and maybe introduce something in here that goes to, to 16. Again, compute. We can wait until all our results come in. So if anything is finished, it will land in this layer. So in a few moments we will see a new single surface appearing under this layer here but in the meantime we can inspect the results here we see the first one we created that had a density of 11 going to a density of 5 so you see also the great surface conformity that we have any organic surface you give we always land perpendicular to it and this is a unique and exceptional feature of spherines here we see density going from 11 to 16 and to 5 also check out the transitions they are all smooth and organic we can also make a section view take a look inside real cool 
Let's compute the solid surface. I switch the single surface off, switch the solid surface on, maybe enter solid here. Here we go. We just received the result of the solid surface. And now you see that we have this wall thickness of 0.4 millimeters. The concept is if you have one density point only, it is a constant field all over. If you have multiple density points with different values, it will interpolate and therefore generate a, a gradient. That's all there is to it for today. I hope you liked that video and see you next time.